thanks for tuning in today. All right, so we finished this conversion up mostly, not all the way. This random old who knows what uh, little pedal trike, it's a, or a pedal quad. Ugh. We were given this from Burr Oak Brewing here in town. They make beers, and I guess they found it in the trash. It's just sitting around, and people are getting hurt on it all the time and running into other people because they're drunk, and evidently this is too fast to control as a drunkard. So they gave it to us. It's got this sweet braking system on it. They gave it to us to convert into an electric cycle. So that's exactly what we did. We have ourselves a battery hiding under here through a throttle on with a bunch of freaking zip ties and a little adapter piece that I printed. So we go from a round bar to a round object and there's our throttle. Woo, woo. And we got a controller just, uh, you know, strapped on real nice there. A bunch of wires hanging all professionally off of there. And going into a hub motor. We welded the mm, suspension, the holder of the hub motor, onto the frame. And then we essentially did a chain drive to the rear with about a, a 1.5 to 1 gear reduction so that this wouldn't be extremely fast. Because this here is a 30 mile an hour hub motor on 36 volts and we're running it on 48 volts with a 20 amp hour pack so it would be fast but with the 1.5 reduction there combined with the smaller tires it tops out at maybe 16 miles an hour it's not really fast but this thing is freaking scary and hairy it it uh i mean <laughs> yeah it's it's practically uncontrollable but uh on the other hand it has lots of torque and yeah so we should be able to tow a lot with it. We'll be able to go to events. We'll be able to travel around in the grass all we want. Probably going to put a cart on the back so we can uh, carry soft drinks. Uh, you know, probably get some Burr Oak beer, honestly. And just have some fun with it. It's been a really fun build so far. We got some video you know, showing you the process along the way. The other thing that we had to do on this that was kind of weird is uh, the way that this was originally made. The wheels are, they're, they're, it's not welded on, but the axle is welded in such a way that you can't take the axle out anymore. So to actually get this on, we had to slice this axle and then weld it back together, you know, weld that on, do all that kind of stuff. Uh, and right now it's only one wheel drive. I'm considering uh, trying to convert it. We will need to get another one of these tires to convert it, but we're considering converting it to two wheel drive. We'll see if that ever happens. You know, if we're towing some stuff on grass, maybe just lean over this tire to get a little bit more traction if we need to. But that was really the only thing. I just essentially took a piece of angle iron when I, you know, we slammed the axles back together, took a piece of angle iron. We had the axle chamfered in so we could lay a nice bead kind of like down on the inside and then lay a nice bead on top of it. That way it'd have a little bit more welding adhesion. It's a terrible welding job. I'm not a professional at it and I haven't, I probably haven't laid a bead for a year or more, but it'll hold and if it doesn't hold we'll just re-weld it again i'll get out my tech if i have to it's just a 120 volt mig that i had it's it's nothing special really didn't have enough heat but i'm not worried about it. this was kind of a hack job and it's a lot of fun and that's all that really matters right if it runs and nobody gets hurt although i've already done a 12 o'clock on it once trying to pop a wheelie <laughs> it was a good time then that's all that really matters so that's really about it. This has been a fun build. This is going to be an extremely fun vehicle long term. And this is the kind of stuff that I love to do. Just electrify weird stuff. Give ourselves some sort of utility out of it. Just some fun. We had the battery laying around. I had the controller laying around. I had the motor laying around. The frame, this was an old uh, Schwinn XS1 frame that we cut apart from my childhood. It's just laying around getting rusty. This is a lot more fun than just watching that thing get rusty oh yeah so i guess that's that if you got any questions i do my best to answer them but this is something that you know i can't just say hey you need to go buy these parts to replicate this because every build is going to be different and yeah you'll have to kind of figure it out for yourself like we did so i'm going to ride off into the sunset on this clap trap of a death trap thanks for tuning in today have a good one <laughs>